the most common use of Chapter 13, and we're seeing it more and more today uh, with the foreclosure crisis, is a home saver case. Um, a case where someone has fallen behind on their mortgage for whatever reason. Maybe they lost their job, mm -hmm. maybe they were ill, divorce, some circumstance prevented them from making their mortgage on time, and now they've corrected that situation. Maybe they're back to work, maybe they've become healthy, and now they can make the mortgage payment plus put something away towards the arrearage, but the mortgage company is saying, no, we want one lump sum payment to catch you up. Right. Chapter 13 basically says, mortgage company, you're gonna take it the way we wanna pay you over the next three to five years, as long as it can pay off all the arrears, and we're gonna make our next regularly scheduled mortgage payment once again after we file our case. Perfect scenario is after three to five years, the debtor makes the mortgage payment as they always have, the arrearage portion is satisfied through the Chapter 13 trustee payment, and they're out of debt. Right, and all, all is as, as it should be. Uh, but when you, you look at, I mean, the other kind of debt that people have uh, along with that, which is pretty good, but this is important to, to, to know, we're just talking about that, is that even in a Chapter 13, unlike a Chapter 7, right, that the arrearage goes in the kitty, and that amount, whatever that is, along with some other stuff, which we'll talk about in a little bit here, uh, is is what get determined is you know what what the debt is and, and how that's going to get paid back. But when you look at uh, what uh, needs to happen with the with the trustee, right, with the the, the kind of amount of uh, money that you that you send in, right, to the trustee, mm -hmm. uh, you have to have enough money to pay back your secured creditors, right? Yes. 100%, and you have to be able to sustain and pay your mortgage, uh, your first or and or your second, um, kind of as you're going along there. So, okay, yeah, I owe this amount of money, but I'm okay now, like you said. So, yes. in, in addition to the plan, I still have to pay my mortgage, but those are part of the allowable expenses that you're allowed to, to find out exactly what your plan payment's gonna be. 